Today, we're somewhere different. We're in Bray, County Wicklow, just to south of Dublin. It's not a sunny day as you can see. Little bit of rain, but that won't put a damper on things. We're going to go up Bray Head. I'm going to show you around the trails there. It's been probably well over 10 years since I was last here, but uh, I'm going to show you around anyway. Forgive me for no sunshine. This is Ireland, of course, but uh, we need the rain. The plants need it. So we've got to be grateful for the greenery around here. But if I get wet, don't worry. <laughs> I'm used to it anyway. I'm singing in the rain. So before we actually climb up to Bray Head, we're going to see where this path goes. And I think you have some lovely views as well along here, looking onto the Irish Sea. And there's a couple of boats I can see in the distance. And uh, looking that way, it's towards North Wales. And there's a little sign here, panoramic view of Bray. So it tells you where various things are. And we just brush this aside, get the rain off it. So there's Dublin Mountains, Bray Town, Bray Esplanada. I think I've pronounced that right. Bray Harbour. Kilini Hill, Dorky Island, and Hoth Head. That's what uh, you can see on the horizon there in front of you. Just give you a guide there. And also there's a couple of uh, points en route where you can uh, top up your water bottle with fresh drinking water. And that is such a handy thing to have. <laughs> I think there should actually be more of those water outlets for fresh water along these trails and walks because you never know when you're going to get thirsty, especially on a warm summer's day while well, we got a, a cool wet summer's day today, but making the most of it. The sun is almost shining, it's trying to peep through, <laughs> but I'm still loving it here. Oh, it's summertime. Actually, the path I'm on at the moment if you look down to the left, there's actually a railway line. I only just copped it now. Uh, that'll head south towards uh, Wexford Town. I think that's the end destination. Or does it go on to Rosslare? I'm not sure, but it ends up at one of those destinations. I suspect it's Rosslare because that's where the ferry port is. And then, looking back the other way, and that will take you to Dublin. Ah, look at that, the train going past, heading towards Dublin. It's not often you see sights like this. And I've just zoomed in a little bit next to the tracks, and it looks like a small colony of cormorants just chilling on this summer rainy evening here, just under Brayhead. There's a sign here just in case of emergency, useful to have if you don't know the numbers off by heart by now. And uh, we're actually on the left side of Brayhead. We're going to get to that a little bit later on, but we want to explore the track we're on at this moment. And we want to see how far we can get down it without being tired. Oh look, there's Alonso. Alonso, wave! <laughs> actually, this looks quite interesting. A little bit of a staircase so just go up it a little bit just see where it goes it won't go too far because I don't want to steer away from the main route and uh, get lost well I don't think I will really get lost but you know me I love being nosy poke my nose into business and not want it well not really but well actually it looks like a bit of a trekker's route along the cliffs but uh, looks like an old stone wall up there hmm oh, I'm not gonna chance it anyway this time I don't have any trekking poles but I'll head back down go down the main path and then just try the main trail to get to Brayhead later on I actually see that Wicklow County Council are concerned for people's safety along this cliff walk because look, they have the stone secured, metal nuts and bolts screwed in and cables as well, just to make the experience safe for us all. I 
finally got the shot I wanted there with the train. Uh, I was waiting ages for that. Well, just over 10 minutes. But here is our first glance. Way in the distance there, Greystones Town. We're not gonna go that far, but we're gonna go close to it and then turn back and head up towards Bray Head. And look, there's another tunnel as well. If you can see that, just under the cliff there, where the train continues, of course. Have the ferns either side of me as uh, we plod along but uh, even though there's a bit of light drizzle the beauty of it when it rains in Ireland the rain is always warm because it's summertime <laughs> and there looks like a viewpoint ahead so we shall check that out and uh, probably see the lovely views back at the tunnels where the trains were and uh, it might be a little bit too murky to see all the way back to Dublin across the bay. But we can't complain. It's a lovely view looking towards the tunnels and I see two of them. So hopefully if you're watching it on a computer screen you can see more detail. You can see the two tunnels sort of in the middle of the uh, screen. Uh, you may have problems on a phone but uh, that's why the beauty of watching my vlogs you have to watch them on a large computer screen. Get all the details you can. And another thing I've noticed too, maybe it's the rain, but there's all these colourful snails on the pathway and this is actually on the wall overlooking the view to the tunnels. Mm -hmm. 